Hello everyone, and welcome back to Baru Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, continuing our road to becoming a Platinum Guide. All challenges are done, all characters are completed, but there's still something that we need to do. And that is... It is time to unlock the law. So in order to do that, we need to die as Isaac to a Mullaboom, die as Magdalene to her own bomb, Judas to Mom's foot, and then as Zazel to Satan. Now, we will be using seeds to make this go by a little bit faster because uh, getting some of these done can be a little tricky. So, we're going to try and make it uh, easy on ourselves. So, we're going to start off with the first one, GPE, or sorry, uh, GPE3 to T1H. There we go. So, this will be the first one that we have to do. Now, there is a... There will be a, uh, oh, cool. Let's re-roll that. Should be a sacrifice room right here. There we go. Oh, cool. A heart. Anyway, this is a sacrifice room right there so we can lower our health. And now let's die to some mullabooms. First, let's damage ourselves a little bit. Make sure we're on half a heart. And there we go. So we have died. So now we're going to exit. Start a new run. This time we're going to be playing as Magdalene. Now for this one, uh, we need to kill ourselves with our own bomb. So we're going to make that a little bit easier by doing A L F A zero N T S. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us, or rather, start us off with Pyro, which gives us 99 bombs. So this should be relatively easy. So we just need to make our way to caves. So let's go ahead and get that done. And we're not going to worry too much about, well, really anything. It's not going to be that hard to uh, bomb our way through. And we'll just throw all sorts of bombs at the bosses. Now, I've been trying to figure out pretty much how exactly I want to do lost runs. I'm, I'm still kind of up in the air of how exactly I want to handle it. Like, I don't know if I should, I guess, make an attempt at it. Like, just, you know, go at it for 40 minutes and see what happens, or what? And it's actually going to be after the marathon that I plan on uh, live streaming before I even make any lost attempts. So, it'll be interesting nonetheless. I guess, you know, we'll go ahead and grab Magic Scab in this. I mean, it's not like... We're in any kind of rush here. Actually, we are in kind of a rush. We are in a little bit of a rush. I want to get through this. I just want to. I just want to get through this and get to and get to uh, the other characters here. Now, you can seed the first three. You can seed Magdalene, Isaac, and who's the last one? Uh, you can. Oh, right. Judas. You can seed those characters. However, for the other characters, you... Or for the last one, Azazel, you are not allowed to use any kind of seed on him. You're going to have to do him normally. So, now we're fighting little Dingle. and see if we can't get him... Just slow down here. Put some bombs on both sides of him. Doesn't matter if we take red heart damage. We don't need a double deal. There we go. And into caves. So we'll just go ahead and start bombing ourselves right now. There we go. And there we go. So that is Magdalene. Now we're going to hit escape again, back out of that, start a new run. Now this one's going to be as Judas. Now, there's a variety of different seeds uh, that we can do for Judas. There's a variety of different seeds that we can do here. Um, and I'm not entirely sure which one we actually want to go for. Uh, they're both kind of they're both kind of useful. There's one that has Polyphemus. There's one that has Dr. Fetus and Ipecac, so. I mean, we can go with like either one. So I think we're gonna go with in zero G three. 
VLD4. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Now it will give us Dr. Fetus for our first item. Now, you may say, why Dr. Fetus for the first item? Well, the reason we want that is because on the next floor, there's going to be Ipecac, which Ipecac plus Dr. Fetus is an amazing combination. You can't hurt yourself with your own bombs. In addition, they do pretty significant damage. So bomb immunity from your own bombs is uh, really nice. So we got the left hand here. That's not too bad. I want to kill my boss first before anything else because I don't want to try and kill it with Dr. Fetus. Yeah. Fighting gurglings with Dr. Fetus would not be very fun, so we're going to just not do that, like at all. We'll just slowly whittle them down, then we'll backtrack and grab that other item. And then we'll make our way to good old Mom's foot. Now, because this challenge ends at Mom, it's not really uh, that bad. All right, we got our stem cells. Now, let's go see what we have in here. So we already know what we have in here. We have good old Dr. Fetus. Well, might as well see if there's a secret room right there. What do we got? Uh, just, just a whole lot of nothing, unfortunately. A little shortcut for us. All right, now let's head into the next floor. And it doesn't matter if we get hit or take red heart damage because we do have uh, Book of Belial, which guarantees our devil deals. So we're all good in that department. Oop. You know, I should just bomb through these, but I'm not, I'm not going to just yet. There we go. Where is my item room? Where are you at, item room? Where are you at? There we go. Grab the money. I want to find my Ipecac first before we go anywhere else. I need that. I need my Ipecac. Okay. Ipecac. There we go. Now for the act. Now for the Azazel run, I won't have any idea of what's going on. But for these, I am. I am well aware. All right. So now these bombs explode on contact. In addition, uh, yeah, they no longer hurt me because reasons. You know, we might as well check the cursed room. If there's a if there's a bum paradise right there, might as well go ahead and check it. Oh, we got two soul hearts. Not bad. We'll be able to break pretty much everything. Yeah, I'd say that does a decent amount of damage. That's, that's a slight amount. I don't want any of those items. I don't want any of those. Let's just make our way to the end here. All right. And this is why I really do like this combination of items. It's just, it's so perfect. Just absolute destruction. All right, so it's not that way. Not this way either, but I might as well take and see what uh, what our item room is here. A little each. Go with me, little friend. We got places to go. Because apparently this was one giant dead end. There we go. It's also a lot easier to use the Nipikag. If you got some fire rate with this, if you got like... It'd be crazy, but if you got soy milk to go with this combo, it's ridiculous. Now, I don't think it makes you immune to... I don't think it makes you immune to enemy projectiles. Just your own. It's not pyro. So that means we won't have to worry about, you know, mom's foot not being able to stomp us. That's one thing that you need to keep in mind when doing this challenge for um, 
Judas's side. Judas's side. Judas's side is do not pick up Pyromaniac for this challenge. If you do that, you can't get hurt by her foot, and you're just gonna have a bad old time. So don't do that. There we go. Let's see what's in this item room. Not that we need anything. Ball and chain. I'm just trying to keep me down. The game doesn't want me to become Lazarus. Or become Lazarus. Uh, the game doesn't want me to become the lost. I don't want to become the lost. Oh yeah, I should probably use that, huh? Not that it really matters. They kind of just die in two hits. We got growth hormone. Yeah, we'll take we'll take some health. Not that it really matters, but we'll take some health. Now I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. We can't get hurt. We we can get hurt by our own bombs, so we can still hurt ourselves before the actual fight. Because right at the start of the fight, mom is going to is going to stomp uh, yeah, stomp down, and we'll take that moment to actually. I guess we're going this way. Nope, we're not going this way. We'll take that moment to lower our health down to one. So that way we don't have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. That was an eternal heart. I don't need that though. Keep forgetting to use my Book of Belial. Not that it really matters, but whatever. All right, Mom's Lipstick. So now we've made it to the actual foot. Or rather, we're on the same floor as the foot, so now we just need to find Mom. Wow, I blew myself out of the door. Nice. And it won't actually hurt to take a little bit of damage here. I don't want to uh, or I want to be able to lower myself to one heart because mom's foot will do one heart of damage to us there we go gotta make sure we full clear that last floor Eh, we might as well. Good old bum. Good old Mr. Bum. No, I wanted you to run into me. Alright, whatever. That's fine. I've got enough bombs to lower myself to one heart. That's one way of doing it. No. I want out. All right, so now we lower ourselves to one heart here. There we go. And we died to mom. So there we go. Now we're dead to mom. We're going to go ahead and exit out. New run. And now we play as Azazel. You're not allowed to see this last one. See, the reason this works is because you're basically, it's just tracking last time you died as Isaac, last time you died as Magdalene, last time you died as Judas, but you can't unlock anything while you're seated, but this is the one with the unlock, so let's do it. So we need to take this one all the way to Sheol. All the way to Sheol. And we're going to keep it on normal mode for this because there's no reason to play this on hard mode. We do not, I mean, Azazel's already, you know, an easy character to begin with, but we don't need to make it harder. I don't want to have to redo all of the steps. So, we're not going to redo all of the steps. Now, as far as dying in Sheol, something you have to remember, you need to die to Satan's attacks. If you die to anything else in that, in that fight, it won't count. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kill the fallen and the, and the kamikaze leeches and then we're just gonna run our body into Satan because that'll do a full heart. All right, cool. Old bandage is definitely nice. I like that. So that way we can actually uh, gamble in the devil deal. I can actually pick an item up and lock those in. 
Maybe we can get real brimstone. That would be interesting. One golden chest. Unfortunate. Because I only have I only have one key. And I'm gonna spend it in here. And there's nothing, so we're gonna just donate a little bit of cash. Make sure we've got at least five. Make sure we've got at least five cents. Holding on to that. There we go. And put some donations in there. Normal mode as Azel shouldn't be too bad. I did not find my item room again. I want to go find that first. Because devil deal items can just show up in your item room. And that can affect what you get. Didn't this time though, because good old monster manual. Uh, was there anything else over here? Not really. Watch him give me a shoop de whoop now that I actually, oh, I was gonna say, now that I actually have it. All right. Which side? Can it be over here? It can. So it can be on either side here for the secret room. Okay, so that's where we're going. A little bit more money. We'll go ahead and donate that because donating is still very important. Still need to give in those donations. Okay, so now we're capped and we don't have to worry about anything. All right. Come here, Dingle. Scooting on me, Dingle. Alright, let's see what we get for our devil deal. Meat, a little bit of damage. I'll definitely take the mark. And the nail is a much better item. So we'll take that. And we're going to move on. So that gave me a soul heart for my red heart. So that's real nice. Uh, I can check this cursed room for free. So I might as well do that. And this might be a library, so I kind of want to check what's in here. Uh, Book of Shadows. Centenic Bible. Got a free heart out of it, but we're going to keep the nail. Since we have a charge on that, and it does give you damage for the uh, room that you're in, so it is useful. Now, unlike the other, you know, seated runs we had where it was pretty much guaranteed. These aren't guaranteed runs just yet, so... I do want to take my time and make sure that we can at least clear out everything. How am I managing to always avoid my item rooms? I don't I don't get it. I don't, I don't see how I'm always dodging the item rooms. That was real risky, but it ended up paying off. And there we go. What's that one do? Hematomesis. No, thank you. Do not want that. Um, as far as the secret room is concerned, could be on either side here. It's on the left again. All right, well, we'll take a key. Go ahead and blow you up. Got another pill, amnesia. Not that big a deal because we already have the, full, the floor fully uncovered. And I know exactly where I'm going. Come on. Let me in. Alright, we have the swallowed penny so we can force money if we need to. Didn't think about that. I should probably, because of that... Yeah, we're actually going to go check our shop. If I can force cash and there's a good item, sh item in here... Uh, battery, not actually very useful. So we'll just take the key and move. Battery doesn't really do too much for the nail because you're going to be popping the nail as soon as it gets filled up anyway. Battery is really good with the D6 kind of item. Something you want to hold that charge onto. Hold on to the charge, rather. But for just regular stuff like that, nah. Jump right into that curse room, picking up two hearts for half. All right. 
never understood this room. It's just like four TNT barrels and you just get three kills. So as long as you can kill the three in the middle, you're fine. Uh, secret room again. Checking over here. Uh, there we go. I want to make sure I'm always checking those secret rooms. So that way we can, uh, maybe get those super secret items. Although we will go on a breaking run eventually and just get all of them. Uh, black can and a dark heart from a fire. Okay. Well, I think I've got plenty of health now. Well, that was, that was, that was extremely unexpected. I was not, ex okay. I don't even have the Damon's tail. It just decided to give me. And I just decided to give that to me. Okay. Whatever you say there, boss. But yeah, we're going to eventually go on a breaking run and be able to get all of our items here. Devil deal. I'll definitely take the pentagram. I don't need the sacrificial dagger because I don't want to accidentally kill Satan with it. So we're not going to take the sack dag. But a little bit of damage never hurt. And our range is actually pretty decent now, I gotta say. Range ups do affect Azazel. And let's go ahead and guarantee those devil deals. Let's go ahead and guarantee those things. So now we're probably going to get Krampus at this point. Krampus is just going to happen. The moment you pick up the goat head, it just says, nah, man. Nah. You don't, you don't you don't want double deals although we are guaranteed at least at least three devil deals here so we can maybe find something useful this is an interesting room hello pop your face up what do we got here? Lockdown. Um, nothing really in there. Go ahead and place a bomb there, though. Grab a quick soul heart. And good old adversary fight. It's the Battle of the Brimstones. Alright, what do we get here? Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take the halo so we have a red heart to gamble with and unfortunately It gave me three red chests. Oh, well A little bit of an all stats up definitely doesn't hurt So I'm not mad at losing You know potential Polaroid or negative proc. We actually don't want to take um, Honestly either of them like we don't want to take the Polaroid or the negative the negative could potentially kill Satan. It, it can happen. And the Polaroid can just make it so it takes forever. So... Yeah, I'm not going to take the Polaroid or the negative this time. And that was a really bad decision. Oh well. That's just going to waste time. That's just going to waste a little bit of time. I didn't mean to take that. Uh, what that is going to do is make it so that way we uh, basically have a couple seconds of invincibility when we walk into the Satan fight. Uh, don't need anything in there. Didn't even think about that. I was thinking that that was going to be Ares or something like that. It wasn't. All right. Hello, mother. Got to make sure you give me blue, mom, huh? Yeah, and it doesn't even really do that much damage. So we don't have to worry about it actually, actually killing anything. So we're not going to take either of those. I'll go ahead and take the guppy's tail. Uh, anything in the boss rush? Not really. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on here. 
Let's go ahead and move on through there. Now we just need to find our... Now we just need to find our Satan fight. Just place him down. Just, just, let, him, just let him sit there. Just chilling. Just chilling, man. Man, I am going to feel like I'm going to be so rusty with those... With those lost runs. They are, they are going to be something else. I don't know why I lost a heart to go in for that, but hey. Hey, whatever. I'll just tank a little bit of our health. It's not that big a deal. It's not like we're going to need a whole lot of it. You are not supposed to defy gravity like that. I refuse. Uh... Is that a large room with... Oh, okay. I was going to say, is that a large room with three enemies in it? I can't be right. I have not seen this room before. Okay. That was a little different. That was a little different. I was, I was like... There's more than, there's more than these three item, enemies, right? Itemies. Good old itemies. Rar. Fear me, I'm invincible. Goodbye, mama. And I don't want anything. Don't want the placenta. Don't want the demon baby. Even though placenta really wouldn't do anything with one heart, I still don't want it. On principle, I just don't take placenta. It won't do anything, or anything negative, rather. Just don't take it, man. Just don't take it. We've still got this good old Swallow Penny. Uh, if only there was a way to donate more of this cash. Oh, well. But we're getting near the end here. Loss is going to be unlocked. And when I get back from my... From my marathon that I'm going to be doing, which is people are interested in that I'm streaming zombies all day not just black on zombies like left for dead dead island Ugh. Ugh. but yeah I'm gonna be doing zombies so when I get back from that is when we record the first lost episode it's gonna be interesting here's hoping I'm actually awake enough to actually do it at that point Hello? Yeah, leeches are probably the biggest pain in the ass there to try and take on. Alright. Destroy that. I'm invincible! Roar! Fear me. Alright, now let's not head, you know, up. There we go, grab that soul heart. Let's not head up, let's head down into Shoal. And let's go give Satan a nice big ol' hug. And we're actually, so we're going to use some of these 10 bombs here to try and make our way through this. Hopefully without uh, too much, too many complications. Oh, wow. That is a, that is a giant dead end. Oh, would you look at that? All right, never mind. So much about no complications. So much for that. Ow. I did it again. All right, so where are we heading down? Oh, we're heading into this big room. All right, that's fine. We just used 10 bo- Oh, God. We went the wrong way. 
We went the wrong way. Ow. Walking to the fire. I'm invincible. Watch me die right before Satan. Oh God. I didn't, I wasn't being serious about that. I was not being serious about that. All right. Ooh, invincible. There we go. Now we have a heart. I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. Nope. Nope. Ow. Yep. We got hit. Ah. All right. So all we have to do now is kill Satan. I think I can manage that or kill the fallen rather. I think I can manage to kill the fallen. Especially when I have, look at me, I'm invincible. All right, now let's go give Satan a nice big old hug. Kill me. Kill me. And the lost has been unlocked. <sighs> It is time for The Lost. In the next episode, everyone, that is going to be the end of this one. Thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. I'll catch you all in the next video, everybody. Later.